Good morning, gamers. Or I should probably say good good dinner, because uh, because I'm I'm in the middle of deleting eating this delicious uh 500 calorie pizza. Uh, I'm gonna move this away so the mouse sounds aren't too gross. Um, listen, your boy, you 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 the final gamer, um, planned his day poorly, and must complete his dinner on stream. Yeah, th yep, it's true. It's true. And you know what? 500 calories. Gotta say, it's not a bad pizza. It's actually alright. Perhaps, perhaps a bit too much spinach on it for my liking. Some people pay extra for the mouth noises. Well, that's the thing. That's uh, that's the Patreon tier. Final gamers, a little, uh, little hard on cash, guys. And we're, we're introducing some new, some new Patreon tiers. You, you guys like feet? Is that, is that what you is that what you people want? I had a meeting with my producer just now, and there was a part where I joked about starting an OnlyFans, and she kind of paused and she was like, "Would you actually consider that?" And I was like, "No, oh, okay, because it would probably do okay." Yeah, I'm I'm good, and I could tell she was joshing me a little bit, but yeah, but no, that's 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 unlikely. So, yeah, guys. Been an ongoing saga in these streams, okay? And it has been the story of my height. Alright? I feel like I came to I did a lot of work last year, come to terms with the fact that I am a substantial five foot seven and a half, okay? Only to be measured at a party over the new year. Over over New Year's, and discover that I am in fact five foot eight and a half. The short king community felt betrayed. Uh, I didn't care. I, I was like, bye. And now I find myself in the compromising position that my friends are swearing that never happens. And that I am five foot seven. But I, I remember, because I remember my, they're saying that, that I was, that, that, no, I am, you are five foot seven and a half. And a half, which, let's not, let's not let go of that. And I genuinely can't tell if I'm misremembering, or I'm ge being genuinely fucking gaslit, okay? I would pay for just random positive messages of John saying random positive shit like, You made it through the day without crying. Fuck yeah. Ten years drug free. Kick ass bro. I can do them for you. I can do them for you. Hang on. Give me a second. You, I'm, not, I'm not gonna make you pay for them. You made it through the day without crying. Fuck yeah. Ten years drug free. Kick ass bro. Was that okay? Was that- if you want me to do- you want me to give that a little more energy? TEN YEARS DRUG FREE! KICK ASS BRO! Was that- how was that? Was that alright? God, I hope the compressor on these streams still works. Max Cornwall, I cried earlier. D look, that's fine. That- so fucking cry. Like, just get it out. I fucking love crying. Pisses me off that I only cry like once or twice a year. And I wish I could cry more because I'd feel way better. Instead, I spend a lot of the year just being like... Yeah, and if I could cry, I'd just fucking let it out, but society has taught me that that's not allowed. Uh, I'm still unlearning that. Will you be at Akumacon tomorrow? No, I will not. But I will be there Saturday and Sunday. If you want to come say hi. Want to come hang out? Buy some of my shitty art? That's fine. I draw art, and I sell it at cons, and I've been doing that longer than I've been a YouTuber. And people always get really fucked up when, um, when they realize it's me. Last time I had a um, had a little eye patch wolf on the table because I was selling some of the um, U2's eye patch wolf there, and this girl walks by with her friends, and she looks at my table and she just goes like, "Oh," and she points at the little toy and she goes, "That's Super Eye Patch Wolf," and then I look at her and I go, "It sure is," and she looks at me. And God bless her, you'd think she was having a fucking stroke. She got such a shock. It was she was she was lovely. She was very nice. But yeah, I'll be at Akuma Khan doing that. A couple of rules, couple of ground rules. Uh, number one, uh, don't stab me, okay? If you want to try and murder me, it has to be through bare-fisted violence. No weapons, you fucking cowards, okay? If 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 you can if you can defeat me with the art of bare-fisted murder, then cool. That's fine. You get to murder me. Uh, guns, knives, 
Uh, fire, none of that's allowed. Uh, commit to it or don't even fucking try, okay? Uh, number two, uh, kind of the opposite but equally true. Don't hit on me. Don't, don't do that because I won't realize it's happening. Um, I reflected a lot of the interactions I had at MAGFest that didn't make sense to me and have since realized that they were not business proposals or invitations to see someone's hotel room. They were, in fact, uh, romantic pr pr proposals, I suppose. Uh, so don't do that. I'm a real-life sentient polar bear. Do claws count as weapons? I feel like it would be very discriminatory, discriminatory of me to say they don't. So if you are a polar bear, or just a human born with claws, then you may use them. Now, if they are the adamantian type claws, the kind that Wolverine has, that doesn't count. That does not- this has to be claws from birth, or not at all. What if we compliment you with wholesome stuff? Uh, the, no. Uh, no, don't compliment me. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I think I kind of mean that. I think people, people, people always say nice. I, okay, I had this in my Discord recently, right? Um, someone asked me, how do I feel when people tell me like how much my videos mean to them or whatever? And my genuine answer was like, oh, I try not to think about that. <laughs> like, it just, it kind of, it kind of, it, it kind of. I think there's a certain level of praise that I'm just not willing to internalize. And I don't want to internalize it because if someone is like, oh, your video has got me through a really dark time and all this kind of stuff, what it does is it makes me feel like, oh shit, I should probably create these videos faster to, to help people get through their, their dark times. And that kind of freaks me out and takes the fun out of it somewhat. I don't know, I tried explaining it in a couple of different ways and I don't know if, don't know if my Discord got it, but it, it was a weird one. Um... Guys, you should know by now John doesn't like approval. So, yeah, no, like, friends have said to me that if, like, if someone is nice to me and if someone is trying to be my friend, I will immediately back away from them and just be like, no, no thank you. Don't, don't, don't. What kind of lunatic would try and be nice to me? Clearly, you have something wrong with you and I don't want any part in this. John is the companion you need a guide to raise their approval with. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I would be. I think, um, I think dating me would be hard in a video game. Now, I'm not gonna say worth it. I'm just saying hard. You wanna, you wanna know what it's like to, to date me? You f talk to Michelle. Talk to Michelle. Here, here are the nightmares she lives. John, as someone who is in, not into wrestling, what the heck is going on over there? Oh, I, I don't know how to explain what is happening in wrestling with that right now without it taking over the stream, and I don't want it to do that. Okay, long story short. Who is going to beat Roman Reigns? Who is going to end Roman Reigns' 1,000 plus day uh, uh, like um, unbeaten streak? The people have found their choice, and it's Cody Rhodes. It is someone who is kicked out of the company... 10 years ago, who was saddled with shitty gimmick after shitty gimmick, who was just, like, went to Japan, went to AEW, and made a fucking name for himself. Made himself undeniable. He got brought back into WWE, he had three banger matches with Seth Rollins, including one where he worked with a torn bicep, which is, like, one of the most fucked up things I've ever seen. You could see the purple titty, it was scary. The people have chosen him... To beat Roman Reigns at this year's WrestleMania. And he won the Royal Rumble. He's got his ticket to WrestleMania. It's going to happen. Except, oh no, who's that over the horizon? It's the motherfucking Rock. And the Rock is coming back for a WrestleMania match with Roman Reigns. As, at least as far as it looked like. Personally, I think we are being swerved. I think they are stoking our fires. I think that we are looking at Cody beating Roman at WrestleMania. I just don't know how they get there from here. I don't think they're going to do it as good as I did it in my in my booking video a couple of streams back, if you guys remember. But um, yeah, so 
there is basically rioting happening because it looks like the rock is basically coming back and he's going to have this big marquee match with the rock with roman reigns the only thing is the rock is not a wrestler anymore he's a fucking actor he's going to come back for one match a year they're not going to put the belt on him it's not going to advance a storyline it's not going to help bring up the next generation this is someone basically taking an opportunity away from someone who really deserves it so people are pissed about that so you have that and then inside out then wrapped around all that is the fucking human cataclysm that is vince mcmahon and all the awful shit that's come around out around him lately um i'm not gonna get into it because it's really upsetting and it's really awful but he has really like abused his power on levels that is shocking even to hardcore wrestling fans and if you know anything about Vince McMahon, if you've ever seen me talk about Vince McMahon, you will know how fucked up that is. So, um, that's not even going into the shit that's happening at AEW. The world of wrestling is on fire. It's completely on fire. And it's an absolute disaster. It's also, not counting the Vince McMahon stuff I just talked about, very fun. There's just wild shit happening everywhere. And, um, I am... Very interested as to what's happening. Now, chat, we have a first for a final gamer stream. This stream, we have a co-pilot, and I'm going to see if I can bring him in now. Okay, Frappolo, could you, could you let the people hear your beautiful voice? Welcome to a new stream of fear and hunger! There he is, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... I don't know. I don't know if you were listening to what I was talking to about before the stream, but people were worried that it was going to be The Rock taking a chance away from a deserving individual. Oh yeah, I was hearing that, but uh, to be to be fair, I don't know anything about that stuff. Like uh, I am completely ignorant on the to on those topics. So I was kind of following along, uh, you know, like when you watch uh, a video essay or something you don't even know mm -hmm. about. Uh... Okay. Well, in that case, Rapolo, um Let's just scrap the entire plans for the stream. Um, and I will just say that... Um, okay, so uh, 12 years ago, this guy called Roman Reigns joins the WWE. Okay? And uh, yeah. he appears one night in the main event uh, of um, a pay-per-view. Now, well, actually, he's not in the pay-per-view, technically. It's, it's, uh, he interferes. And the actual people in the event is uh, one CM Punk, John Cena... Uh, you're you're cool with this for like the next three hours, right? You got nothing. Sure, sure. Yeah, okay, even for the cool. next uh, six, if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna put. Uh, I'm not gonna put you. <laughs> Rapolo, let me ask you a question. A personal question, if you don't mind. Sure. How tall are you? How tall I am? Okay, I don't know how do how do inches work, so I'm just gonna go with meters. Okay. I am one eighty seven. One eighty. That sounds tall. Uh, let's. You are six one. I think so. Like, uh, if that's 187, then yes. Yeah, wow, that that's 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 surprise. That I don't know why I say surprisingly, but that's tall. You're 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 not a you're not a small person. Thanks. Uh, I mean, uh, here in Italy, it's kind of average. We may say like uh, one Italian out of uh, two is uh, like 180 or something. So. Mm, okay. I I am. So Frap, if we hung out in real life, I would be significantly shorter than you. Well, I can beat you up. No, I didn't say that. Um... <laughs> I did say that, though. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to set up some kind of charity boxing event to sort this out. A charity boxing? Okay, sure. But um... <laughs> whatever you want. Actually, no. Wait, scratch that. Charity uh, grappling event. Boxing is not what I do. Grappling will be fine. Grappling? Hmm. Yeah, I think we could do something about it. Excellent. Uh, you're not secretly a jujitsu black belt, are you? Absolutely no. I've okay, never uh, grappling. Like yeah, that. grappling will be fine. Grappling will be fine. Uh, do not look up anything about my prior experience. Okay, it's fine. Just ignore uh -oh. it. Just show up, and it'll it will will we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Uh, you know, ignore the chat. It's it's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll it'll all be it'll <laughs> just it'll all be, it'll all be good. Uh, but Frap, look, thank you so much for joining me today. I have been so looking forward to this. Thanks to you for having me on, buddy. Oh. I was so excited as well because uh, I don't know if you have if you already said something to someone, but uh, today is gonna be special. Okay, so just to be clear here, for anyone who might not know who Fraplo is, I would say, as the final gamer, I am unmatched in raw gaming tenacity. Okay, 
But there are Four. people who know more about certain games than me. And Frappolo, I would describe you as a fear and hunger expert. Would you say that's that's would you say that that's overblown in any way? You know, I appreciate it a lot. And every time someone says to me that like I'm a, I'm a sort of a guru of fear and hunger or something, I'm always happy. But really, uh, on that department, uh, I just think the real thing is that they just decided to spend a little bit more time on it. Like, uh, there isn't really, um, how do I say it? Uh, there isn't uh, there isn't something like uh, culture about this. It's just about spending the time, you know what I mean? So, you know what? I actually do get what you mean, because I feel like sometimes with me, like, and especially my videos and stuff, people, like, you know, there's all these labels, like... Uh, video video essayist or like analyst or all this weird stuff for me i'm just someone who likes talking about the shit i like you know yeah and i would, would it be a kind of similar thing with you and fear and hunger you're like ah look i just i just put a lot of time into this yeah exactly let's say that uh once i found a game that i really liked uh, i just wanted to talk to people about uh, about it uh, and the people uh gave a good feedback and so i was like ah let's continue and uh, as i continued i also became more involved uh, and now you know after yeah. having uh over 1300 hours into fear and hunger i kind of became a, a, a uh, how do you say it i have a lot of affection toward okay uh, sorry fear and hunger. just just how many hours in fear and hunger a little bit more than 1300 in this moment 13 hundred my fucking god i think maybe the most time i have ever put into a single game is maybe binding of isaac and we're talking maybe low 300 hours max oh you played the binding of isaac that's cool oh, I, i'm playing dude, it recently dude, actually. i fucking i have to stop playing binding of isaac because i st i it's just all i play like it, I will just, <laughs> and it's like a problem because I need to be constantly playing shit for my videos and stuff, you know. But yeah, yeah. thirteen hundred hours, like, man, yeah, like, so Frappolo is 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 a very nice and humble person and does not want to call himself an expert. I will. This dude is a fucking incredible, just fountain of knowledge about fear and hunger, and that is partially why we have you here today. But it's not the oh, whole reason, thanks. isn't it? Oh, it's not the whole reason, absolutely not. No, 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 no. no. Um, because, Frappolo, you have delivered to me something that I would say slightly suspiciously is called... Hang on, let me get the exact name here. I have it on my side if you want me to tell the name. It's called Fear and Hunger, Very Normal Copy. Yeah, that's because it is. I mean, when you, when you have a game that is original, don't you call it original? Mm-hmm. That's just a normal copy. Today we're just so, going to have a chill run in Ragnavaldr S ending. Yep, so we are going to do Ragnavaldr's S ending. And it, you're telling me that this is just going to be a super chill time. Uh, no fucking weird or nightmarish shit. It's at, least, at least things that are not already in the game. Let's say that, uh, as I told you uh, already... I didn't want to touch, uh, actually, Ragnavaldr S ending. Like, I didn't want to touch the normal gameplay experience because, from what I understood, you never played Ragnavaldr S ending. So no, I don't want you to never. have the, the br perfect. I don't want you to have an alterated run, an altered run, let's say it like this. But there is something else. Okay. Interesting. I am, I am very curious. Out of curiosity, like, is there a modding scene behind Fear and Hunger? About the modding scene, there is currently like uh, one mod which adds some new content, which is the Reign of the New Gods. Oh, cool! Yeah, like it adds some extra scenes, some quality of life features, like being able to leave your party members whenever wherever you want. But apart from that, like there is my bug fix mod, and then that's basically it. Okay. Oh, but uh, oh wait, uh, I I'm forgetting, of course, about the multiplayer mode made by Matty. The multiplayer mode was crazily good. Oh my god, a multiplayer mode. Yeah. Oh, it's, you you it's, are it's giving me you are giving me ideas for future streams. <laughs> are you going to play multiplayer with someone else? I would I well, I mean, I'd love us to play multiplayer, but yeah, I can think of some some people that would be fun to play multiplayer with. Um I actually um I recently started a new podcast called Versus Wolves, and the whole idea is that we like recommend each other games. 
um, or we recommend each other games or experiences. And in the last episode, I recommended uh, my versus wolves co-host Wooly versus Fear and Hunger. Um, oh, complete newbie, and he um, that that episode is coming out tomorrow, and he played. I'm not going to give too much away, but he played Fear and Hunger like an absolute fucking lunatic. Like, the way <laughs> he, han- he he came at that game was just the most insane thing I've ever heard. Like, it was so... It's it's so not how I played it, and oh, it's, it's weird. Um, Understandable, yeah. Mm. Like, uh, when I think about my experience and about the experience of other people with Fear and Hunger, even in the blind run... Uh, they are very different. Like, uh, I started with Kahara the first time. There are people mm. that started with Ragnavalder and uh, regretted it a lot. But still, uh, yeah, each, each copy of Fear and Hunger is personalized depending on what you do. When you said each copy of Fear and Hunger is personalized, just out of curiosity, did that have anything to do with the Mario 64 thing? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> no, actually, it did also with the Final Fantasy X because I was watching some uh, speedrun stuff and they also said something similar. Because, like, I, I have very recently, through the video I'm working on now, wandered into the every copy of Super Mario 64 is personalized. And I don't even really know what the deal is yet, because I haven't had time to deep dive. Seems interesting. Yeah, from what I remember, it is. Like, uh, I, I watched this kind of stuff, like, uh, a, little, a little bit more than a year ago, so I don't ex- exactly remember. But, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 it's definitely a lot of interesting stuff. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so without further ado, let's get rolling on this. Oh, I... Uh, Frap, I, 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 I missed that music at the start of my streams. This was all we streamed for a couple of months, and I, I missed it. I really did. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Aww. We're back. We're back, <laughs> chat. Fear, it's a final gamer, and fear and hunger once again. <laughs> now... <laughs> And it's just such a relief to know it's a perfectly normal copy with no weird or fucked up surprises. Yeah, normal copy, absolutely nothing. Rap must hear that music when he sleeps. Uh, you know, actually, <laughs> I tend to actually sing the Fear and Hunger theme a lot of times when I do stuff like studying or just walking. Uh, at this point, it's just uh, too important for me. What is, what is your regular human life? My regular human life, like, uh, let's say... I tend to uh, basically spend uh, all the free time I have uh, either uh, video editing, video recording, or studying for university. I don't know if you know it, but uh, I'm still at university in this moment. Uh, oh, no way. So, what are like, you studying? I study management engineering. Ah. Yeah, and currently it's also exam session. I'm going to have an exam very soon. <laughs> but, oh, uh, shit. Good luck. Thank you for taking the time to be here on this stupid fucking stream. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I, I like, um, let's say that I try to to give a lot of time to, uh, you know, video editing and streaming regardless mm. of uh, exams, like uh, all the other time goes to exams. Uh, and then I also have a theater company for the remaining time. Wait, did you say you have a theater company? No, like I, I am part of <laughs> I Okay, part okay. Of yeah. I was like, you're kind of burying the lead on that one. For, um, <laughs> oh, that, that, that's awesome. So like, do you do like acting or stuff like that? Yeah, something similar for about uh, six years. That is fucking rad, dude. Fair play. No, like, um, I, I really think... So I remember like, I used to be like super fucking, like even more shy and awkward than I am now, which is really saying something. But um, I actually really? took like, uh, oh, like... Like, I, I can talk to people on streams and stuff, but and, like, in, at cons and things. If you take me to a party with a bunch of people I don't know, I'll be like... <gasps> but, um, <laughs> but like, um, I used to be way worse for that. And one of the things that actually really helped me is I took a class in speech and drama. And, and I fucking loved it. It was really, really fun. And it actually, like, it really brought me out of my shell in a cool way, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Mm. And also, just to precise, uh, I too, when I'm at a party or something, I stay in the angle and I'm like, uh, they don't know who I really am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get you, I get you. Um, okay, before we begin, a little quick note to the audience. Audience, are you completely out of clothes? Are you just uh, terrified at the thought of having to venture out into the harsh world without any kind of uh, fabric protection for your, for, for, for your body? Well, let me tell you, iPatchWolves.com, we got these, we got these t-shirts, 
these beautiful t-shirts, everything back in stock. If there is something you wanted, you can go get it. Frappolo, uh, I know you have never seen these t-shirts, but can you attest to their absolute quality and their life rejuvenating um, properties? I can attest. I possess like uh, thousands of them. They are fantastic. So I love them. I did, I, I, look, I, I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to reveal anything. But Frappolo does, in fact, own thousands of Eye Patch Wolves t-shirts. Uh, he is basically a small nation at this point who is stockpiling um, YouTuber merchandise, and I really appreciate it. Um, put, putting my kids through college there, Frap. I'm gonna buy it all and then resell it at a higher, at a higher price. You hear that? You hear that? It, it, the, the, the quantity is limited, chat. There's, there, you, you gotta get in there. Frap's coming. He's coming for your YouTuber tees. Uh, you gotta get over to iPatchWolves.com and get. Uh, thank you, Frappolo. I appreciate it. That was. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome, that, that, buddy. What an exceptional merch plug. Okay, without further ado, fear and hunger. We are choosing the Outlander, correct? Uh, of course, yeah. And we're gonna stick with Outlander. We call him Ragnavald. How we feeling? That's that really depends from you or uh, if you want from the chat. Like uh, how you feel. Um, I, uh, I one time was, um, I was on, like, a Dark Priest run, and I was naming the undead things after, like, my members from my chat, but I was going to perform a marriage with the ghoul, and I came this close to nearly naming the ghoul after someone from the chat, and I realized at the last second what I was about to do, and I was like, oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck, no, 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 delete, delete, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. People want John Cena. Is that okay? John Cena. Uh, I we played a John Cena run of Ragnarvald, um when we did. Is, is that okay, Frap? Will that will that work Ooh. for you? Yeah, yeah, that works uh, absolutely, absolutely. As long oh. as uh, you want it, uh, John. <laughs> I accidentally hit space, so now it's just called John, which is me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the real John enters the dungeon right okay, now. Okay, I mean, I guess I guess I'm in fear and hunger dungeon. <laughs> oh, the music! The music chat! We back! We back! A uh, Terran starvation? Hard mode? No! <gasps> Hard mode, of course. Oh, shit, okay. Play you didn't think I was gonna come here for a Terran starvation run? No, uh, that, that, that's who Frap is, chat. Frap is like, oh, you mean fucking baby mode with Terran starvation? <laughs> okay, wow. Uh, playing intro, I assume. <laughs> Oh uh, yes, of course, of course. Oh my god! I don't know how I'm getting nostalgia for a game that I only properly beat like four months ago, but I am. Uh, bow and arrow or axe and shield? Now it arrives to the question, to the main question I have for you. Okay. Do you want me to guide you through the most broken stuff of the game and trivialize everything, winning easily against everyone, or do you want me to do something else? I think, I think the only way to do this stream is to have you sh have you show me the disturbing extent of your fear and hunger knowledge. Um, chat have watched me fucking stumble through this game enough time that I think we're ready to see what is like. How fucked can this get? I would say maybe not like to the point of game breaking glitches that will make us miss content, but yeah, I, I think I want I, I think I want to see what you're capable of here. All right, I see what you mean. I'm gonna skip the major glitches like a phase step or yeah, something. yeah, no uh, phase step, no phase step. Perfect. So go with bow and arrows. Bow and arrow, okay. Um, yeah. Fra fra I only so I have a hundred arrows in Fear and Hunger, and I think I have about thirty or forty in Fear and Hunger too. It was only late into my Fear and Hunger 2 run that I realized that you could use the bow on the overworld map in Fear and Hunger 1. Really? I, mean, I never uh, knew. I never fucking knew. You, you know, that's uh, kind of interesting because uh, there is a similar problem. Like, uh, the short bow uh, or the arrows, I don't remember, remember which one, tells you that uh, you can ac actually, actually shoot them to the opponents. Uh, but that's uh, interesting because uh, that's not the only thing that a lot of players miss. Uh. A lot of players miss how to use the lucky coin, despite the lucky coin literally saying that if you if you hold the shift, you use it. Um, I, I, so I did miss that, but I did figure out how to use that. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, if the chat tries to, say, to tell you something about using uh, the ancient book, uh, 
Don't even look at the chat in that moment, okay? Okay, that's cool. Um... Perfect. They made me die so many times with that way. Yeah, there was one or two really brutal losses for me in um, in original Fear and Hunger, or like like in my first couple of runs, where I was like, "Oh, the ancient book," and then fucking just annihilation. <laughs> yeah, but remember, now we are in hard mode. You remember what is the main problem of hard mode? That you can't have any allies, right? Yes, and you cannot save. Uh, like uh, th there are some allies you can get, but you cannot have you cannot have any save points. <sighs> Right, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so we have our short bow and we have five arrows. Yes. Devour your fallen comrades or don't give in? Devour just because don't give in gives you bloodlust, which is the one of the worst skills in the game. What does, what does bloodlust do? Bloodlust makes it so that the character that uses it, uh, you cannot control it anymore while bloodlust is active. Bloodlust lasts for three or four turns. During those turns, the character will attack randomly, dealing 50% more damage. But there is another problem, which is uh, if they attack you, you have a 50% chance of losing Bloodlust. Yeah, that so basically, sucks. I can think of like some hyper-specific scenarios where it could be okay, but yeah, that, that kind of just sounds bad. Yeah, there, there is one scenario in which, if I remember correctly, they used it in a speedrun for oh, uh, ending no way. a... You know, I, yeah, because, uh, I, I have thought about doing like a Summoning Salt-esque speedrun video on Fear and Hunger, just because I know he's never going to touch it, um, hmm. and but I don't know, I, I have a ton of videos I want to do, so we, we shall see. Um, take souvenirs from villains, don't touch anything. Absolutely not. Don't, because this gives you that penalty where you're scared of everything, right? Uh, yeah, that's not really the that, that that does it, but that's not really the reason for which we will not take it because oh, really? uh, if you if you take it, uh, then uh, you will not get dash in the intro. Oh, that explains a lot. Okay, the bad omens would soon reveal themselves as sometimes after you return during the many hunting trips, you came back to your village only to witness your worst fears come to life. A mercenary army had raided your village. You witnessed your home village burning, your family slain, and artifacts stolen. Those who survived the raid described the army and its captain. I always thought this was like real Vinland saga inspired, but then when I checked the dates, this would have been in development, I think, before Vinland saga, so it doesn't really add up. I think so, even though I've never uh, read or uh, watched if there is an anime of Vinland saga. Mm, it, it's great, isn't it? Uh, no, no, I've, I've never read it. Uh, oh, it, it's it's cool. And if if you like Ragnavolder, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, that. I despise Ragnavolder. Okay, my mistake. All right, that's, that's <laughs> fair. The man would witness the iron will temper that both in the freezing north and in the dark continent of Vinland. Stock upon equipment, food, healing items, or rush straight after. I'm guessing rush. A rush, absolutely, yeah. The developer probably... I don't know what came to their mind when they decided, you know what, I'm just gonna make all the choices ir irrelevant except for uh, Rush. Yeah, Rush is... insane. Uh, yeah. You learn that the man has since been taken into the dungeons of, King uh, of Kingdom of Rodan in the notorious dungeon of Fear and Hunger. You set your mind... You're, you will kill everything that carries a dark soul in the dungeon. You will have your revenge... And the dark artifact will be yours again. There is no other way. So this is... Um... Do you get this text not on hard mode? Uh, not in uh, in hard mode. There are some exclusive texts for all the characters. Uh, yeah. Some of which are very useful to understand what you have to do. Others are just uh, horrible. Like uh, Darcy, Darcy text says uh, you have to save Legard. Okay. Right. Okay. But uh, it's not exactly clear what you have to do. Like Darcy as ending doing it without knowing what you have to do is impossible. Yeah, I would have thought it's just save Legard from the dungeon, but I'm guessing it's not. It's not, because in hard mode, the Legard is already dead, so you have to do something else. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Perhaps another stream. Yeah, if you never did, if you have never done, like, the other S endings, they could be, like, a, a part of a funny stream. Um, remember that every time we talk and, like, uh, do some conversations to pause the game so the time doesn't pass. Okay, so is this paused? This is paused, yes. Okay, okay. So, uh, our first move here, I mean, usually we're rolling the dice on all these crates and barrels. Is that what you would do? 
Uh, yes, yes, there is no reason to not to, to not loot and everything in this place. After you have looted everything, uh, go into the left entrance of the dungeon, because if you go into the entrance above, uh, uh, then the dogs will follow us inside, and we are not exactly ready to fight them. No, for sure. Perfect. Also, we also go into the left part, because uh, I presume, since uh, you didn't play Fear and Hunger in the last uh, month at least, uh, you may have some problems with kiting uh, the opponents. Oh, really? Yeah, the guards are kind of fast if you are not prepared for uh, their kiting with them. So, so are they, you saying um, that like I'm going to be just not used to it, or has something in their behavior changed? No, 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 that you are just not used uh, to it anymore. Yeah, that is, that is true. Is it, it, it's been a couple of months. In this confirmation, you can just go to the right, uh, and you should be perfectly fine like this. So what we no want need, to do no now is... get mushrooms or anything? Uh, not really. Like, uh, for the plan uh, I have in my mind, uh, I can guarantee you all this stuff on the ground will basically be useless. Like, maybe, okay. yeah, the crates uh, and the herbs can be looted, but the rest is just... Uh, I have never taken the mushrooms, uh, like, uh, uh, after my first run ever on the dungeon. Oh, wow, okay. So what, what about this stuff? Uh, the stuff in the crates, uh, yes, because okay. they can give you everything from, uh, I don't know, empty scrolls uh, to soul stones to everything. Even uh, scrolls of uh, skills, uh, literally. Okay. Um... Uh, on the right, on the right, on the right. After you surpass this door, go to the left, uh, because we have to check two things. First of all, there are some crates uh, you can loot. So, whatever it is about this room, I often get, like, yeah, that, uh, nothing here in this room. Yeah, that's a bug, because uh, those crates, uh, for some reason, uh, 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 share the same switch. The same switch gets turned on when you touch them, so all of them stop having items. Weird, okay. Also, I want to tell you, you already won the hunger of the dungeon in this moment. Oh, really? Yeah, because you looted a moldy bread. The moldy bread later on will become uh, basically our primary food source, so you are you have infinite food. Really? Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, you just broke the game, buddy. Your choice, not mine. Hell yeah, I did it. <laughs> hey. Also, there is another important thing we may get here, which is uh, RNG. But uh, if we if we happen to get it, it's it's nice. Uh, from the um, armor uh, armor tables, uh, you yeah. could get uh, arm guards, uh, which is good uh, in this moment. Yeah, because they stop your arms getting cut off, basically. Exactly. Yeah. And like, uh, in a lot of fights we're gonna do, our arms are risk of getting cut off, uh, so it's just better to prevent that. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I I run into a weird thing in here where um, uh, sometimes I will roll successful on the, or I will do a successful coin toss here, and I will not get the item from it. Yeah, it's because, uh, um, basically the way in, this, in which this event works uh, is every time you, you should get a certain weapon, uh, Sometimes uh, it uh, has multiple checks, uh, and those checks uh, then send you to uh, send you back to the main event to check right, another okay. weapon. Okay, but one of those uh, is missing. Okay, for gotcha. some reason. Um, I'm guessing <laughs> heads or tails makes no difference. It makes no difference actually because uh, it's it's already decided before you toss the coin. Right. Okay. Um, and no point using a lucky coin here. Nah, 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 nah. We're gonna preserve the lucky coins for the bookshelves. So bookshelves are the ma the most broken thing in the game. Find a longsword. Two in a row. Find a scimitar. Ne mm, neither... That's not good. Yeah, ne not, not so great. Three in a row. No, that's not eagle, good. Eagle shield. And finally, uh, we've had three heads, so I'm gonna say tails. Oh! Arm, yes! <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it, and so perfect. Um, do we we want to equip the arm guards, and then do we want to stick with bow or go with longsword? Uh, for now, longsword because uh, we may enter into fight with some guards. In that case, it's better to have a way to cut off their weapons. Okay. Because uh, in hard mode and in terror and starvation, and I think if I remember correctly, you actually played the game in terror and starvation on the first time, right? Yep. And it is. Yeah, my, it, the... I think it is the most fun mode. I like. I, I like terror and starvation so much more than fear and hunger. You do really? Yep. I, I love it. I just think the choices it forces you to make are so interesting. Uh, before going down, let's actually already trigger the lever above. Okay. You know what, uh, I kinda agree, but uh, I think for the first time experience it may be frustrating for new players because of the torches. So, like, if they finish torches, it's Jover. Um, I, uh, I may have recommended my co-host Wooly play it on Terror and Starvation, and um, he was not happy about that. 
You are evil, uh, Super Hyper 12. Uh, you are super uh, evil. You know now. what? I I'm all about love, really, is, is what I'm about. And um, terror and starvation was just a very important thing to me. And I just wanted to share that with my good friends. And it was not an attempt to hurt Wooly or to uh, maim him in any way, even though that's maybe perhaps kind of what happened. <laughs> that, that's gonna happen, yeah. All right, uh, you can just go on the right, uh, no problem. If, even if the guard attacks us, we have the arm guards, so we we don't really have a problem with that. And we have the long sword to deal damage. Actually, attack the guard. You know what? Okay, cool. Uh, but let the guard first uh, exit from their uh, from the space they are in. Oh, really? What's the purpose of doing that? Uh, because oh. It's gonna. It's an important bug. I'm gonna explain to you after uh, after you do it to let you understand why I want you to move the guard. Come on, fucker. Okay. So... <laughs> this is the worst guard a... ever. <laughs> That's a oh nice chest. Oh my god! Come on, <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> let Let's put stupid Joe in the prison. He'll be He'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so uh, the pattern for this is first to cut off the left arm. Yes, the left arm. Or yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. left, uh, left uh, as the name. And so All right. then the stinger. Uh, no, now you guard because uh, the, the the other arm is gonna do the coin flip attack, but with guard the coin flip is avoided completely. Okay, cool. now the stinger. Uh, the stinger is just a blurry leg. For anyone asking, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, don't try with three legs after all. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you could decide. Uh, I would say go for the legs. Uh, like, cut off one leg and then guard because there's gonna be another coin flip. Perfect. It was actually your video that I discovered the uh, guard to avoid coin flips, and I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. Oh, I think I miscalculated there. Oh yeah, because there were two turns. So like uh, after, uh, right, the right. first time is uh, it, it, you have to guard after the uh, in the second turn. After that, uh, you guard every three turns. Okay, so the reason I made you move him is because if you go into the spot he was uh, mm -hmm. and interact with the books uh, on the on the left, uh, above, 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 above. Oh, sorry, sorry. No. Okay, perfect. The problem is, uh, yeah, just to say what, you, uh, choose what you want. If uh, the guard uh, was gonna die on top of that point, uh, you wouldn't have been able to select the books. Oh right! Whoa, I got oh, two items oh. out of that. <laughs> I what? <read> that. <laughs> what? What just happened? Uh, p pause the game, and I will explain you. What? I, that's I've never seen that before. Okay, basically, that's a, uh, that's a known glitch in which uh, uh, when you have a certain books in your inventory or you play on hard mod, the event of the bookshelf has a chance to loop itself multiple times and give you multiple books. What? I have never seen that happen. One time uh, uh, I got, I think, seven empty scrolls in a row with that. Uh, that was so funny. Are you serious? Seven. Yeah, because uh, like at that point the game is over. Like the you just you're done. Um, that is insane. Oh my god. Okay. And is that a hard? Is that does that only happen on hard mode? Um, no, that uh, doesn't happen only on hard mode. But in hard mode you already start with a certain probability because uh, in hard mode you cannot find the book of enlightenment. Okay. So that that thing already loops the event more. Right. Right. Okay. Ah, I see. I see. Now I would be saying here let's 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 chow down on this guard uh, af after searching him I guess would you agree with that? Uh, you want to devour the guard? The sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, it's chomping time. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, we uh, we started saying it's chomping time, um, just like um, just like uh, John Cena the wrestler. I, I know you don't watch wrestling, but basically when. When John Cena defeats an opponent, he gets down on all fours and just fucking just just gobbles them up, and it's really it's really disturbing and really scary. Really? Yeah, but he's too strong and no one can stop him, so it just it's it's really sad. Okay. Oh, we got the least around spawning. Okay, we can do something fun if okay, you want. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, do it. You got uh, you got a scroll of marksmanship, right? Yep. Okay, that uh, makes the process even simpler. Okay, just use it on yourself. That's gonna teach you marksmanship. Do you uh -huh. remember what does marksmanship do? I don't. I don't think I ever uh, used Marks... it in the main game. You didn't? And you played as Ragnar Valder? Mm-hmm. 
Ah, oh, hardcore. Okay. Uh, uh, basically, you, you could replace hardcore hardcore with a oh, fucking idiot. But thank you for putting it that way. <laughs> so, uh, keep the short bow. Okay. Perfect. All right. Go uh, either uh, go um, like a shoot an arrow to the um, to the lizard man. Oh! Whoa! Wait, it just dies? <laughs> Marksmanship makes it so that every arrow you shoot kills an opponent, if the opponent is not immune, of course. That is insane! I can't fucking believe I've never known that. Yeah. Oh my also, god. Also, got Ring of Grace, which is pretty lucky. Yeah. Uh, can you go back to the prison for a second? Yep, sure. Okay. Because uh, I want you to see another interaction, which I don't know if you know about it. Uh, okay. In the prison cells, uh, uh, keep going left. Okay, in this prison cell, there is a goal. Fight him. All right. Do you know how to fight the goals? Uh, I mean, yeah, but I usually get infected, so maybe no? All right. You Okay. Uh, if you talk to them, there is a special property. Really? You try talking to the wretched soul. What is your And origin? now, prepare to die. I want to die, please. The ghoul seems... No fucking way. Hmm. Oh my god. That... Why do people keep saying Obama? Uh, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Maybe they're just uh, confused a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Um, and just headshot it? Uh, you can do that. You can do that. I'm guessing... Yeah. All right, uh, um, if you didn't notice, uh, the, the goal was named Obama. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, now you can go back uh, down into the blood pit. Okay, I... Like, I know you're 1,300 hours into the game, but the fact that I'm, like, 100 hours into this game and still learning weird shit like this, I really... It is such a testament to, like, its fucking insane depth. Uh, going down to the caves... We could do that. No, before we are gonna do something else. Uh, okay. Go to the to the torture chamber. Yeah, you know, actually, uh, you're saying this with 100 hours. I can confirm you. I can guarantee you that uh, even after 1300 hours, you will discover new stuff. That's uh, fucking there is just mad. so much stuff. Oh my god. Uh, ambush, ambush. We don't care really about the torture. We c uh, actually we could take the pen and sar more theoretically, but uh, eh. Let's take this away. Uh, well, you know, actually, you know, actually, I don't know if, uh, if I don't make you take the pen and sarm, maybe some people are gonna be like, oh, you should have uh, given me the pen and sarm more. So actually, you know what? Kill him. I Kill want him? a piece of people. Okay. I like when you take his knife. He kind of just stands there, being like, oh, jeez, uh, okay. Uh, the <laughs> knife was kind of my whole, my whole plan, and now I'm dead. Yeah, uh, torture doesn't do anything without the knife for some reason. And like, it's funny because uh, if you try to, to use the pinecone pig to farm with torture, because you can farm items with the pinecone pig, every time you enter into the battle, torture will lick the pinecone. The, 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 not the pinecone. No the knife. way! Weird! Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, but uh, he doesn't have the knife anymore. Okay. So, like, uh, he's licking the air. Um, will I will I devour him, skin him, beat him? I know you can't really skin just him. leave him there. Yeah, okay. just leave him there. There is no reason to, to do it for now. Uh, so now, what we have what to do? Go to the dark priests. Uh, before fight, fighting the dark priests, remove your uh, fur outfit. Okay. Uh, yeah, long cloth is fine. Okay. Perfect. Now fight the the dark priests. Okay, you can just uh, attack the torso. It should be fine. The reason we removed the fur armor is because the fur armor increases the fire damage you will take. Oh. Oh wait, uh, I forgot to make you re-equip the the longsword. Whatever. Uh, yeah, the, it the should be fine. Again. These guys are not tough. Oh shit. Oh god. Nah, no worries. No worries. Shoot again. Now, though, we have to do something else. I am on fire. At yeah, uh, now talk uh, to the, talk to the priest, otherwise you die. Seriously? <laughs> yes. Um, like there is gonna be a coin flip attack. Just uh, say whatever you want. Um. 
What are these dungeons? These dungeons appear in hunger, a nexus of different plans of existence, plans of existence. These dungeons are one of the last places where a man can still meet his creators. Do not disturb my chanting. You are ru So hang on, what happens when he, if he completes his chanting, what happens? Uh, coin flip attack, and if you fail, you die. I have never experienced that. That's, I think I just, usually these guys are so weak, I just kill them really quickly. They indeed are so weak, but uh, I forgot to tell you to re-equip the, the sword. Also, someone in the chat is uh, saying you are wasting arrows that could be used for marksmanship. That's false. The shortbow does not consume arrows in battle. That's a myth that I want to dismantle. Okay, okay, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Frappolo is the... Fra Frappolo knows some shit, okay? Jo don't, don't go trying to step up to Frapp, all right? Perfect. Okay, now, first get rid of the lantern at this point, because otherwise it's gonna require at least uh, three more turns to deal with the torso, so we don't want to get more attacks. No. And now uh, Tolkien uh, again. Uh, which god do you serve? We serve all the gods. Despite the common folk blaming the dark times on the older gods, we also value their teachings. Grogoroth, Sylvian, or Almir, the Ascended One, the original destroyer and creators. Uh, I, I mean, I'm kind of a Sylvian person myself, despite everything that she put me through. Understandable. The goddess, she is the opposite of Grogoroth and brings forth new life and love. Do not disturb my chanting. You are ruining the summoning. <laughs> and I'll go for the torso again. They are Perfect. Go. Now, if anyone looks at your HP right now, they could say that you are in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. That's false. That's okay. completely false. Uh, what we want to do now is uh, go down into the other uh, uh, room of the of the surface of the dungeon. You know, down from here, yeah. even more down, and reach the um, the library of this of this uh, of this zone. The main plan now is to accumulate a lot of useful books uh, to understand what our what are our resources. Uh, some might say that's also the goal of real life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, an Absolutely. ancient book. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted. Okay, if we get 50 subs donation in this exact second, we are gonna use the ancient book. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fra um, book of Forgotten Memories. We <laughs> uh, uh, find the Penance Knight. Okay. Okay. What's 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 the next goal? Now that we have the mock-up book, we can go back into the torture chamber because there is another library, if you remember. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, let's go up there. And in the process, let's also loot the bodies of the dark priests you killed because okay. they have some useful stuff. Um, I am actually it's taking so much restraint oh, for me it? not Here's to um uh, not not to oh, basically just loot everything Here's all the time. Impossible. Ah, uh, yeah, I understand what you mean. Because, like, like uh, that, that's what I'm used to when I play. You know, recently I did uh, um, Fear and Hunger, but only guaranteed items and only guaranteed attacks. Uh, and uh, it was very difficult to not loot just everything. Okay, keep looting the bookshops without problems. Uh, that's my... Uh... Oh, uh, there's a brat here. Yeah. Still loot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, who cares? Uh, even if we fail, we have the green herb. We do, we do. Oh! Whatever, whatever. Don't uh, don't use it, though, because there is another bookshelf with possibly a rat. Oh, and we may right. fail even there. And, and... Okay, go to the left uh, and then above, and you're gonna reach the actual uh, big library. Above, above, above. Oh, above. Uh, here there is the toilet. Oh, God! Yeah, no, I've... Uh... Okay, Quill. Yes, uh, a Quill! There's, there's, yes. A, there's a guard captain potentially up here, isn't there? Uh, in this confirmation, if I remember correct, oh god damn it! Uh, I forgot to tell you about that. In this confirmation, the guard captain should appear near torture, not on this side, oh, so we should be fine. Okay, so yeah. now we're in the prisons, and we are also without a torch. Yeah, just uh, use a torch. Oh, you don't. Okay, perfect. Uh, fun fact: uh, uh, use a torch. Okay. Uh, if you have no torches in the inventory, and uh, this includes, uh, like, if you're using a torch, the torch is not in the inventory, okay? Yeah. In this situation, like, when you have no torches in the inventory, if you loot from a crate or a vase, you have increased the chances to find a torch. Did you see that? You just found another torch. Right, gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, because I, I, I've I noticed that in the main game, it's like you always seem to find a torch, um, like, when you really need one. 
Yeah, exactly. In this game, uh, a lot of people uh, uh, this, on the other side, a lot of, uh, I think a lot of people don't realize about this game is uh, they usually blame the RNG of the game for uh, losing. But the point is, the RNG actually helps you a lot because if you are bleeding, there is increased chances to loot a cloth fragment. If you are poisoned, there is increased chance to loot a white vial. If you don't have torches, there is increased chance to loot a torch. So one of the interesting things I had in the conversation with Wooly, oh shit. Um... Oh, the bug, yeah. Um, is like he would he like you know like everyone who plays this game first, it's like oh fuck the RNG of this game, it's just unfair random nonsense, and it was kind of interesting having the conversation with him where it was a bit like well it's not so much that the RNG is bad, it's just the game wants you to think ahead and predict how it might try and fuck you. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. Like, sometimes it's kind of unintuitive in some situations. But still, that's oh, just God a different type of... Ga God damn it. Whatever. Whatever. Also, uh, I think we should... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we do have the green herb. Perfect. Should we use that now? Are we about to die of infection? No, 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 no. Just, uh, just uh, keep looting. The infection kills you after you traverse seven screens. Oh. But not all screens count. Interesting. I, I never I never knew that that was like a screens thing. Yeah, and there are some uh, screens which actually don't count towards the number. For example, do you know the big staircase? Yeah. That uh, all those screen transitions don't count. For example. Right. Okay. That's super interesting. All right. Come on. Empty scroll. Oh nah, god damn what, it. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, you can just drop the, the mock-up book on the library and you should be fine. Good. And drop the green herb because at this point we're gonna wait a long time until uh, we have to use them actually. There is the potential before we get infected again, we already have the Salmosnik soul. And uh, here even the bleeding. They are asking if you agree that Ragnavalder is the best boy. Um, hmm... You know, I, I think as a, a pasty little person who spends too much time indoors and being sad, uh, I'm more of, more of a Dark Priest uh, fan, I would have to say. A Dark Priest? I understand. Oh, yeah, I like the Dark Priest as well. More than Ragnavalder, of course. Uh, so, uh, do you see the big uh, giant statue in the, in the courtyard? Yeah, you can pray to Olmir to that statue. Oh, and I think I'm gonna teach you a magic trick that you probably don't know about, so you may be interested. Hold the W on your keyboard when there is a dialogue. Oh, handy. Okay, so that basically you lets, hold... lets you skip dialogue but does not skip options. Yeah, exactly. So you can skip fast, especially in this game where sometimes the hunger and the mind are not posed between dialogues. It's uh, it's it it comes very oh, really handy. Oh 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 jeez. Oh oh god. Uh, yeah, and no commentary censorship. So yeah. you can. Oh, did you know that the no commentary channel disappeared? What? Yeah, the one that made the censor mode. His channel just disappeared completely. We oh don't know no! What happened. Really, man. Oh, he helped me do a mod before. Huh. Did it? Ah. I see. Okay, be sure to uh, join the bunny masks because the first time is uh, it's free, free, right? That you know yeah. that that could be just a thing where like fear and hunger maybe blew up to the point where he wasn't comfortable with the amount of attention. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Depends. Yeah, because maybe there are some people that just uh, attack you in the comments, or maybe you know that I remember, kind of stuff. Remember um, <laughs> when I was doing the research on um, Undertale or under Undertale video, and I was talking, I was like looking up all the. Undertale alternate reality tumblers, which were these massive fucking tumblers, like tens of hundreds of thousands of people following them. And the two Ooh. most popular had deleted themselves because they had both just gotten to the point where they felt like this is too much and it's completely overwhelming. Uh oh, um, yeah. When people, when, when Fear and Hunger started like really blowing up and, you know, my video played like the part in that that it did. I was very worried that that was going to start happening with like fear and hunger pages, um, and yeah, it, 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 it sucks to hear that guy deleted that. I hope you're doing all right. Um, yeah, I hope so as well. I also wrote to them on, on Discord, but uh, I think they are busy or maybe they just don't want to talk to people in this moment. Sounds like maybe they're just kind of pulling away from the internet for a little bit. Anyway, yeah, what's our next move? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, sorry, I, I get to, uh, I get to f focus into discussions. So, do you have an explosive vial in the inventory, maybe? I think not yet. All right, then we are gonna go the long way. I mean, better, better. Be sure to go back into the torture chamber, because we are gonna sacrifice the, the dude on the cross. That gives you uh, increased, uh, an increased level of affection towards Oldmere. Do you know, throughout all my time with Fear and Hunger, I never... Oh, god damn it. Um, I, I never got, like, too into the gods and, like, their, the different abilities they can grant you. You never got into the gods? Like, no, I do the odd thing and I, I knew some stuff to do, but yeah, never, um... Never, never, like, hugely. Okay, go down, because we have to pray to the Ritual Circle, which is in the other room. You never went to them hugely. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Ritual Circle is which uh, the, the other, The other zone, the other zone, down, over the... Oh, the, right, the, right, yeah. The courtyard, yeah. Because what we want to do is to... We, we want to unlock Blood Portal immediately, so we can just unlock the fast travel around the dungeon. You can, uh, by, the, by the way, even if I don't say it, you can loot the stuff, of course, like... Okay, uh, gotcha. Because I, I don't want you to just uh, skip items because I uh, accidentally don't say it, so... Sometimes the dogs attack me in here, and like, like yeah. even... But they're not doing that now. It's because uh, they get the trigger to enter in this zone if you... If they spawn in oh, the... Oh, right. In the, in the other you. zone. Or if you just enter through the, sur through, through the entrance uh, in Terror and Starvation or Hard Mod. Okay, since we since we're here, like this is not gonna be a hardcore, super focused run. So you can just uh, take a marksmanship, two arrows, uh, and kill the guards. Okay, gotcha. Actually, you know what? One thing I never tried. Mm -hmm. Collateral. Let's do a collateral with one arrow on two guards that are okay, alive. Okay, let's try and line this up. I have never tried to do a collateral. Okay, first time attempt here. So basically, we want to line the two guards up. Okay, this will yeah. be tricky. This will be tricky. <laughs> now, where is that other guard gone? Is he down below? Oh, no. I think they went away, maybe. Or maybe they are below. Yeah, that's a... Yeah! Perfect! Go! Ah! Uh, whatever. All right, shoot again. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. No, so he... The, yeah. the dead body is blocking him. Yeah, yeah. Over the door. And uh, can we go in there horizontally aligned with... Okay, perfect. Just a shoot. Perfect. Ah. Whatever, we're not gonna do a collateral today. You know, it would have been fun. It would have been fun. So is yeah. there a way to do it? No, I don't think so, because uh, from what I was able to see in this moment, the body of the dead guard body blocks you from the other or man, something. That's something that surely, he, like, um, they had to code out at some point. And man, they should have left it in. Although I guess maybe it would be <laughs> a bit OP, like, for people playing a regular run of this game. Uh, um, kind, I mean, it also makes some skill into aligning the guards. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think it is something you have to work for, which would be really fun. Perfect. Uh, you already prayed on the circle, right? Um, I believe so? Uh, no, actually, I think no, because otherwise you would have gotten the increased affection with Olmir, I Olmir? think. Olmir? Yeah. So, um, Kiki Key 6 is saying that it does exist. Um, it Perfect. does... The affinity on there is now growing. That you can collateral people in um, Fear and Hunger 2. In 2? Uh, I never tried, actually. Like, uh, in 2 I have, uh, like, uh, only 400 hours, so... Oh, practically a fucking baby, frap. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be real. There are people with 4,000 hours on League of Legends. In uh, comparison to them, my 1,300 hours in Fear and Hunger are a joke. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a joke, but I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Um, okay, now that the affinity with Olmir is increased, uh, uh, we can get Blood Portal. Okay, cool. Just use, a, use the Soul Stone on the, body of the, on the corpse of the gold that is uh, above you. All right. And now we straight up go to the Hexen, which is uh, in, the pure, in the red sigil door here in the courtyard. By the way, remember, this is a very normal gameplay. There is nothing special going on. Hmm. Every time you say that, I get less sure. You get less sure. Uh, you can only interact from uh, the horizontally, horizontally to it. Uh, use the hexen. A blood portal, which is the one of Olmir, the the cross dude. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, portal. navigating the hexen is a nightmare. Yeah, right? it's crazy. Yes, learn it. And the fun fact, uh, uh, close the, the dialogue, like a click uh, to 
Okay. If you exit from the Hexen very fast after learning a skill, you don't learn the skill. And do you lose the blood, the, the soul stone? You lose the soul stone and you cannot relearn the skill. Like, oh, the skill that's so blocked. fucked up. That, that, oh my <laughs> god. Oh, there, yeah. there is a few things with this where it's like, dude, this game is hard enough. Please just fix this one little thing. The thing that killed uh, me repeatedly was um, the freeze at the start of the mines. Oh, yeah. When you, uh, like, walk into the wall and the game does not process that, so you yeah. just get, get stuck. Uh, go below because we need to uh, trigger the blood portal on the ritual circle. Oh, back down so, to the ritual. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how often you, you use the ritual portal, uh, blood portals in your runs. So. I have never used it. Never? Okay. Ready to blow your mind by yourself because uh, the blood portal is the only way to fast travel in this game. And without it, uh, like, the majority of challenge runs and stuff becomes completely unbearable. E even the concept of a, a teleport in this game breaks so much about what I thought was possible. Alright, by itself it doesn't work, like, uh, you cannot teleport to anywhere. But now we're gonna go down into the mines by using the elevator in the blood pit. Gotcha. Will you survive with his HP low? That's the funniest part! Our HP are no longer low, because we used the bunny masks, so they are almost fully replenished. We, we didn't... we didn't use the bunny masks. We formed a meaningful relationship with them, and our HP, uh, our HP benefited as a result, okay? Yeah, meaningful relationship, absolutely. You just <laughs> left them already. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. So, the main plan I want you to do now is to just rush through the whole game, like trigger all the blood portals. So, in the caverns, in the other in the other zone of the caverns, which is the mines, there is a blood portal. Yeah, okay. I always get lost in the mines, um... It is, it, like, it's just, the, just trying to navigate the mines killed so many of my early runs. Oh. Understandable, yeah, because there are multiple conformations of the mines. Okay, this door, we can open it uh, with a small key. I think we should have enough damage to uh, high roll, uh, kill them, but uh, who cares? Like, we are not gonna use the small keys for anything else. Yeah. Oh, the yellow mage is, is coming right up. You can just use a... Uh, you can just shoot him if you want. Like, uh, it's not needed, but you can just shoot him. Um, Frab, is there any point... Oh, shit. Uh, a little bit closer. There we okay. go. Is there any point in lighting the torches as opposed to taking them? Any point? Like, the only point I can think about is if you're doing a run in which you cannot use torches. <laughs> like, right, like, genuinely. Okay. I recently did a run, as I told you, in which I only used guaranteed items. So I only had around six torches for the whole run. Jesus so maybe, Christ. yeah, maybe having the possibility to light them up uh, was going to be beneficial because I, I, I passed through here a lot. Okay, to reach the blood portal, go to the right at the interception. Oh, and by the way, to complete that run, I had to set the brightness of my PC to the maximum. Uh, yeah, I've I've had to do that a couple of times. <laughs> okay, where to next? Uh, above the Yellow Mage, because we want to go to the Cave Dweller Village. Cool. I feel so safe playing this game with you, Frap. <laughs> like you do. I'm usually so scared. I'm usually like, oh god, oh what's gonna, oh no, it's a crowbar. And it's 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 so it's just you're here and it's like okay this is this is going to be all fine. Oh god! Oh Jesus! Oh! oh. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, uh, I feel like this game is the game that still makes me look like a fucking idiot the most. <laughs> oh god! Uh, for people who are unaware, I nearly just got my arms blown off. 